first instrument I picked up was the electric guitar when I was 8 years old. My biggest influence was Ace Frehley from Kiss. We started uh, with like a garage band playing metal music uh, with each other and it was a blast. Like every Saturday we are, we are ending up drunk but we played a little bit of music. We played um, metal influenced hardcore and we uh, got together well just through that genre. Well, we played a lot of live shows together, uh, put out a couple of albums, so that was pretty cool. And then uh, Michael took us, uh, well, he took to uh, electronic music. He always used to like that, as I recall. Um, so um, it wasn't a big surprise for me to see him as a DJ. And when this, uh, this new album came along, he just, uh, he just asked if I could do some more vocals for him. Uh, and I was glad to do that. The music, the music genres, yeah, well, they lie apart uh, uh, pretty much, but I guess the energy that comes out of it is nearly the same. Um, so I like what Michael does, is he, uh, well, he, he puts guitar and electronic music together and makes it all into a, a mix of a lot of energy and aggression. And uh, that's, that's exactly what we used to do in our band. <laughs> All the genres have the same message. Make a stand against society and the hard things you have to endure in life. That's why it's so mixable. <laughs> While being active in Superior, uh, Yuri and Remco from Warface asked our band to play in one of their tracks for their album The Nine Circles. Uh, we've played two times live on our album showcase sets. Uh, after the gigs I decided to make my own act of this concept only much harder and faster. For me it was really a blast, they asked me. I was so enthusiastic about this, combining those powerful beats, electronic beats with uh, uh, my, my acoustic drum set. I think that is really a unique concept. I think it's very progressive of Michael and Deadly Guns to uh, blend those two genres or two styles together, um, because I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if people in the in the electronic dance movement uh, like metal and uh, heavy guitar music as well as they like uh, all the DJs and dance music. So I think it's a pretty bold move of Michael to just go ahead and and do this, just combine those two elements, and um, hopefully lets people see that those two things really go well together, it just blends right in. You will either love it or hate it, almost nothing in between. Deadly Guns is not for everyone, it's only for a chosen one. On some tracks of the album I worked with vocalists, uh, a drummer and myself on the guitar. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to combine all the um, analog recorded instruments with the hardcore sound. However, those things together created the Deadly Guns formula. For me it's just letting go, just letting go of everything uh, society wants from you. You need to dress well, you need to be nice to everyone, you just need to be uh, a good guy overall. And in metal and in hardcore, I guess you can just be an asshole sometimes and let go of everything that society wants from you. Just be who you want to be. Just let go. Uh, just uh, close your eyes and listen to the music and just go with the flow, even if it's metal or if it's hardcore. Just bang your head or stamp your feet, I don't care. Uh, just let go of uh, all those boundaries that society is putting to you. Just let go and, and go nuts.
I hope to inspire other artists and fans to be open-minded. Music is about feelings and emotions, not genres. <laughs>